back in Geneva less than two weeks after the last talk stalled. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif and the EU official in charge of foreign affairs Catherine Ashton. An interim deal on Iran's nuclear program seems reasonably close, but pressures, possible constraints on both sides, have been growing since they were last here. In Tehran, in a televised address, the man in ultimate control in Iran, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei, says he supports the talks, but there are red lines he will not allow his negotiators to cross. The other part of the deal is that I insist that the rights of the Iranian nation be preserved, including the nuclear rights. Last time around, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and his counterparts from Germany, France, the U.K., China and Russia were here negotiating until late into the night. This time, the talks are being handled at a lower level by senior officials. All are aware of strong opposition to any deal from Israel, the Gulf countries and inside the U.S. Congress, and they must overcome differences in their own ranks too. We know why a deal failed last time. France was unhappy that Iran would be able to keep for now its stockpile of uranium enriched to 20%. The French were also concerned about the Iraq heavy water plant currently under construction. They want all work halted now. Once active, that reactor would be very hard to shut down. Even a military strike would release harmful radiation that could potentially kill thousands of civilians. Those who followed the diplomacy surrounding Iran's nuclear program for years believe the next few days could be make or break. I think you could make a pretty good case that the opportunity is going to get a lot smaller if a deal is not made at this particular set of talks. On the American side, we, saw, we have seen in the last week, in the last 10 days, the incredible pressure that the Obama administration is under, coming from Iran hawks in Congress, coming from Israel, coming from the pro-Israel lobby. That is only going to get more intense. Talks will continue over the coming hours. One senior U.S. official said they were making good progress, but then added, this is a hard road to walk. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Geneva.